Texas, Mr. Gooden. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Countless NGOs, non-government organizations, provide ways and means to illegal immigrants to cross the border and stay here indefinitely. Some of the ones uh, that we are most familiar with, uh, because they're the biggest and have the largest presence, are Jewish Family Services, Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services, and Catholic Charities. Secretary, you've often spoken about your partnership with these NGOs, uh, but many of these are actively encouraging and enticing poor illegal immigrants to cross our borders with the promise of assistance. They promise to provide financial, logistical, and transportation assistance in the form of money, food, and lodging, and transportation to anywhere in the country. I've seen this with my own eyes. I've been uh, to these organizations' facilities and our borders, and they are welcoming folks and sending out the message uh, that the border is open and that we'll provide assistance. Uh, their help comes even with legal guidance and cheat sheets uh, for what to do when they get to wherever it is they'd like a free plane ticket to. My question to you, um, since they seem to not be interested in respecting our laws, are, are you aware of who's funding them? Congressman, the, uh, the pernicious enticement of individuals uh, to come to the border at great danger is perpetrated by the smuggling organizations. They are the ones that traffic in misinformation and seek to exploit vulnerable people exclusively for profit. So you don't think that open up, opening up uh, an operation where you're saying, if you'll get here, uh, we'll pay for your way to wherever you want to go, we'll put you up in a hotel, uh, we'll give you debit cards with money on it. You don't think that's an enticement? Congressman, I, I believe that you are mischaracterizing the work of nonprofit organizations. So they don't do that. So is it your testimony uh, that nonprofit groups at the border do not provide financial assistance, they do not provide uh, transportation across the United States, that and they don't put, up, uh, put them up in housing? Th that is not my uh, testimony, Congressman. As I have said... Okay, so you agree that they do. Well, let me go back to my original question, which was, who's paying for this? Are you aware of who's funding these NGOs? Congressman, um, to what um, NGOs do you refer? Because if you I'll, are... I'll give you an example. Catholic Charities, Jewish Family Services, Lutheran Immigration, Refugee Services. My question is, are you aware of who is funding them um, and their operations at the border? Um, uh, Congressman, we are grateful. Are you aware of who's funding them was my question? Yes, and I'm answering your question. Okay, who's funding them? Uh, we are grateful for the appropriations that Congress have issued. So the United States taxpayer is funding them is what you're saying. Uh, just to be specific, uh, Catholic Charities received over $1.4 billion from the United States taxpayers uh, for their operations encouraging illegal immigration. Uh, Lutheran Ref Immigration and Refugee Services reported it received $179 million in U.S. government grants. That makes up over 80% of their total support. So let me ask you this question. Since they're receiving this money, do you believe the number of grants and contracts awarded to NGOs is something that should be made known to the American taxpayer? Should that be public information? Should we know how much money they're receiving for their operations? Uh, Congressman, we do make that information public. And what we do is... When an individual makes a claim of credible fear under the asylum laws, so the American the taxpayer States, should know how many grants and contracts are awarded to the NGOs. That's a fair request, right? I, as I mentioned, we do make that information. So public. they should. So the American taxpayer should be aware of that information, right? Yes. Okay. Let me ask you this: If I wanted to know where these NGOs are sending illegals that are coming across that they're helping facilitate. Uh, with financial support. Is that a fair ask? Is that something the American people should know, where, where these folks are going? Congressman, you are mischaracterizing. No, no, I'm situation. not characterizing anything. I'm asking a question. Should the American people, should we know where they're being sent um, when they're entered into these organizations that are providing the assistance? Is that a fair ask? Congressman, your question um, misstates the um, underlying facts. If I can explain what occurs. Well, when let me explain to you what occurred. I have requested for years, over two years, um, this information from Homeland. I've requested this information from Catholic Charities, Jewish Family Services, Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services, FEMA, three different airlines and even hotels. Each request has gone unanswered. And it seems to me that if our taxpayer dollars are being used to fund an operation whereby we're encouraging illegal immigration, we're encouraging through funding these organizations, people to make these deadly treks across our southern border. It seems to me that we should be able to get some answers to questions, and I'm really disappointed that I can't get answers to those questions. I can't even get acknowledgement uh, from you about what's happening there when you've stated that you're partners with these organizations, and I yield back. 
Gentlemen, yields back to if we, if we can, Mr. 